Generic greetings, Man of War Corsair was a Games Workshop naval combat game based in the Warhammer Fantasy setting and something that I quite enjoyed when I played it in the early to mid 2000s. The thing is though, it was already out of print for quite a while by the time I got hold of it so I never bought into it. I think it came out in 1993 and was dead by the time the millennium came around so not something I did buy into because of the high price of the models and you could only get them second hand and I just borrowed other people's fleets but quite enjoyed it when I played it and liked the fact that it was set in the Warhammer Fantasy setting. So you've got elves, you've got orcs, you've got chaos players fleets, you've got Empire, you've got Undead, things like that and just like everything Games Workshop, even if it's only been mentioned once in one copy of White Dwarf, it's getting converted into some sort of digital edition, hence Man of War Corsair, something that I've played about an hour and a half to two hours of, so certainly a first impressions not to review this and also it is still in development, so the typical disclaimers apply, nothing you see is final, everything is subject to change, any bugs are like a polish in places, etc, etc, please attribute to its in-depth status, I'm also recording this a couple of days before it is publicly out so there might be changes by the time you get hold of it this is version 0.0.22 let's go to campaign and i'm going to go to new game and show you a little bit of it so you can create your captain you can see you've got um you've got male and female there you go and then we have to name our captain so uh jenny Generics and she's getting around quite a bit now because she's in a couple of my uh, videos. Jenny Generickson and uh, he says nationality, but you can't change it. I'm guessing that nationality uh, you'll be able to change it from whether you come from, say, um, Hockland, Bidenheim, whatever, if you're Empire. I don't know if I really don't know much about what the plans are for uh, you being able to select. Like, I think you can only just play uh, humans at the moment, the Empire. I don't know whether there's going to be Bretonians coming out later on or whether you can play Orcs as a campaign. I'm assuming it's just the Empire, but again, that is an assumption on my part. We're going to skip the tutorial and we're going to continue. We get to select our options, so I'm going to say uh, easy, I think. Description of Captain Life so far. Easy one is a rich noble woman in the lower world, blah, 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 blah. We can say regular. Uh, yeah, we'll go for regular and then we need to name our ship. We also have to pick our colors as well So flag will be that's quite a nice one. That's like the sort of Empire. Where's the um it's a sort of wreath thing. Twin Tail Comet of Sigma. Uh, victory or death. We like that and the ship's gonna be called the um I was going to call it like man, the Man of War. I thought, man of War, I think, is the proper term. I think there was a couple of there was three types of ships in the game. I remember you got like ships of the line. Man of War was the biggest ship, and then you got one in between. Um, we're going to call it the Victory, uh, or maybe not the Revenge. No, um, the. How about Leviathan? No. Uh, victory or death. And then it matches our flag. Yeah, that's fine. Continue. So, it's going to load us up and then we will be put into a port. Here we go. We're in uh, Norden. And we can go to the tavern and we can have a little chat with people. And it'll say, I hear that uh, Hagendorf, or, or a wool ship, is moved up in Hagendorf. The captain, Derek, may be willing to offer his services, whatever. Let's go to the notice board. We've got a couple of things here. Assassination and advise the emperor. Let's go to assassination. And it says, assassinate someone. Okay, we'll accept that. Advise the emperor. Again, we'll continue. I was going to read all this, but I don't really want to spoil it too much. And then we will accept that one as well. Basically, we are getting quests, right? That's what it is. We can also go to the market and we can buy and sell things. As far as I can tell, you can buy um, different like resources and then go and sell it later on but I've never done that because you've got a cargo hold and stuff so you can buy and sell and alter the market but as far as I can tell there's no real way of uh, accessing the market like when you're on the ship so you're just going to have to remember it which yeah I'm not really too bothered about that more bothered about the combat stuff but you can do it and buy that there uh, we'll go to docks and you can see that you can purchase different ships so you've got for example a war galley there, wolf ship, iron fist, hellhammer, and a great ship. Great ship being a man of war and stuff. And this is all empire stuff, obviously. And then we can say firearms, so you can buy different things. I've currently got 400 gold, so I really want to repeat in muskets. Sadly, I can't get it. I've got a handgun, and uh, we can get a blunderbuss if we really want to. The sharpshooter. Oh, no, sorry. I can buy the blunderbuss. I've currently got the handgun. That'll do for me for now. You can also refit the ship as well. So you can, say, get a cargo ship refit, so it increases the cargo base. You can get fire pumps, blah, 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 blah. Only available at different shipyards. Additional cannons again. All these are pretty good. So let's just go back. And what we want to do is, I think we don't. I don't think we need to recruit crew. We've got full crew. Sharpshooter is five grand, so we're not going to bother with doing that one. When you do the tutorial, I think it gives you one anyway. So probably something you should do if you were going to start it again. And then we're just going to go back, and then we will actually exit. So here we are. <clears throat> this is my ship, as you can see. It is pretty crap because it's a very, it's a pretty much a start ship. Controls are very easy. It's just W A S and D. Uh, you will notice on the, oh, well, you notice the UI is very uh, simple. Um, we've got top right the sort of 
uh, mini mappy type thing. Uh, we've got little, well, we've got massive eyes saying where there's stuff uh, for us to look at. Bottom left shows the status of our ship, and on the bottom right, we've got uh, the time of day which goes around, and also the uh, the speed of things, like the speed of time. And then you've got, like, a circle with, at the moment, three arrows in it, and then it's in yellow, red, and green. Green means you are the wind is in your favour. Yellow means you're starting to go against it. Red means it's right ahead of you, so you're not going to slow right down. You can see, you know, that is uh, victory or death, but it's the opposite side, because you're supposed to look at it from there. So I'm going to go and do one of these missions. Let's press M and have a quick look around. This shows, like, there's some um, enemies there. So that, I believe, is undead. That one is probably orcs and then we've got ones all the way back here i i haven't actually traveled further than here i don't so you know, i'm guessing you can go over here but i've just never been there so it's quite big and then we've got other stuff as well so these are other ships there's different locations we have to go there and we have to go there sail to there sail to there and um i think yeah we'll, we'll probably sail over to here so we're sailing over there uh, you can alter your like like where your um where your sails are so like the height of your sail, so that's like the, like the mid ground that's the top end it alters your speed it's a bit twitchy so like for example if i just press down a little bit it just you can see like it drops for some reason like right down you really have to like just tap the button otherwise it goes all over the place so i must confess the controls are a bit shonky you can you can tell that this is early access there is certain things that are a bit iffy like for example that just flicker there is the uh, weather changes you will get weather changes the sea will be you know a bit dodgy so it'll go from uh, raining and then it'll snow you get strong winds the sea will be nice and calm and it'll be up and down and all so all over the place so i do like that um the ship Ship in distress over there. Let's press G and we can see there is a ship over there and there is someone doing a bit of pirating. So I'm going to turn straight towards it and I'm going to show you a bit of the combat. As I said, there is um, a sort of day-night cycle. So when it gets dark, it really does get dark. And um, at this, where it's nice, it's quite, quite all right. I must confess, the ship looks uh, not too bad at all. I mean, the graphics are okay, but there is some shonky bits. Like the land is totally uninspired and a bit crap at the moment. Um, but the weather seems to be quite good. The weather effects and that. And uh, the, the general fix effects on the ship are not too bad either. But as I said, it is an early access, so you have to give it that. So ahoy, we're going to charge over there. You can actually switch between uh, your captain. So this is me now walking around as you can see, and we can sort of go there, get some, that's, that's cannonballs, that's cannonballs, back to our ship then, and we're going to steer directly towards the thing, so that is something we need to defend, we need to head towards this guy, and see if I can take him out, obviously I'm going like this, which means the chance of me getting hit are a lot slimmer, unless I was, you know, if I was broadside, then it's not going to work out, so the, the way combat works is you really have to think about the wind, and about the distance, that's going to hurt, oh yeah, yeah, and we've taken some damage, you can see on the bottom left, on the top, uh, top left, we can see like the damage to them. So I'm just heading straight towards them. The thing is, I've got the. If I just keep zigzagging, we should hopefully not get hit. Yeah, there we go. Just keep zigzagging. I'm doing nearly 40 knots, which is a bit insane. What I'm going to do, uh, he's against the wind, that's the thing. So, or rather, in his current course, he can't really come towards me. There we go, dodging them shots again. Quite good. See there's some nice splashes and stuff, so that's okay. This is really getting a bit uh, up and down, up and down. So, what I'm going to do is spin around to this side, really reduce my speed, and then I'm going to fire cannons. Hold right click. Alter the trajectory and then fire about there. Bang, 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 bang. And that wasn't too bad at all. You can see the damage that I've done to him. I really want to take his uh, guns out. Oh, that hurt. That hurt a lot. But what I'm going to try and do is get around the back of him and then stop because I'm much more maneuverable. And there we go. Again, hit him. And then I reduce my speed. Yeah, he's going to come close to me. Ah, oh, he's, he's out maneuvering me. He's out turning me. This is not good. I'm going to try and reduce my speed down. I wanted to just reduce to about there, but I can't because it's a bit twitchy. And come on, come on, turn, 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 and fire. Bang! That really hit him. Right, what I'm going to do then, I'm going to get close. I'm going to press space to board. The ships then clamp together, which again is very, very iffy. You should see like boarding hooks and grappling hooks going there. And then, as you can see, everybody's coming aboard and I'm going to have to take them out. The controls for this are terrible because when you hold right click to fire your gun, it doesn't like... um. It doesn't, like, uh, reduce the sensitivity, so it's really sensitive. And when you play a sharpshooter, when you have a scope, it's pretty much impossible when you've got a Hockle and Long Rifle. Anyway, I'm just taking them out over there because they're shooting my crew, and I'm just blattering away there. And bang, 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 bang. And there's my crew as well, jumping over. Again, bit dodgy, but the animations for jump seems okay. It's just latching on and stuff is a bit iffy. Look at them all there. They're holding the things up. Yay! We've taken over their ship. Get in, right? Come back aboard, lads. We're going to uh, scuttle this thing. So... 
boom, 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 there it goes, we've split it in two, and it is gone, so I have got a nice little reward there, it's going to go down, I'm going to max this out, and off we go, so there you go, return to Norden is one of our quests, if I just press escape, we can see if I got ship information, um, ship details, we're a bit damaged, yeah, we do need to repair that one there. Uh, we'll go back over. I need to check my quest log, but sadly you can't look at your quest log because early access is Alpha Gamers Alpha and all of that. Uh, by the way, today's ship sailing beverage is... Mm, a nice cup of tea. With a bit of a lemon wedge in it for some reason. I think there was just a couple of lemons in the bottom. I thought, oh, I'll give that again. Right, okay, so this ship... These are coming towards me. Let's not do that. I don't know if I can actually board these ships. It's a bit of a still there. I can actually say board the whirlwind, but um, no. I think that's where the Corsair things come, come from, because you get like reputation going up and down and stuff. So full reputation system in it, or at least is going to be. And you'll be able to, uh, you know, get good or bad reputation with different things, and hopefully that'll affect buying prices and blah, blah, blah. But I don't know if that's in the game, and also I don't know how far it's going to be expanded and stuff. But that's quite a nice look and see that. I mean, it's quite... I mean, it should be, because the last game that I played from these developers, I believe it was uh, Victory at Sea, which is another uh, war game based on the uh, Victory at Sea game by Mongoose Publishing, which is something that I've got uh, both books of and have played and think it's fantastic because it's based on the Call to Arms uh, set of rules, which uh, also powers the Babylon 5 uh, warship, uh, like uh, war game, which I love and play a lot of to this day. But anyway, that's just a bit of a uh, moving off. Anyway, I have to go towards this ship and pretty much take it out, I believe. Kill Captain Morgrim uh, Teeth Biter. That sounds orcish to me, but I don't know if that's the case or not. Um, yes, I think it is. That's me there, the victory or death, and we're heading over there. I really want to sail that side, but sadly we're going there, and then we'll go wherever. So, I'm going to speed up time. There you go. You can only go to times two, but I would really like it to be increased even further. That is a big ship, and he's flinging rocks at me. Sadly, one of the things that the orcs can do oh, is fling massive boulders at you. They've got a trebuchet on the front, but I'm just trying to dodge it, dodge it, dodge it. This is not going to go well. I'm going to tell you now, I've already made a mistake. That ship is a man of war. It is massive. I'm going to point my guns at it and fire and hopefully take that front bit out. No, look at the damage. It's not even touched the sides. He's going to ram me. It's going to ram me. Right, I'm going to run away. Uh, <laughs> I should be able to pierce it. By the way, them things on the outside are grapples. Rocks! Rocks. Yeah, that hit my... Uh... Oh, they were close. And sadly... Yeah, as you can see, I've got massive holes in there. They've pretty much taken all this out. Let's fire away. And, yeah, we're going to get boarded here. This is not going to go well. I'm going to get rammed, in fact. Um, come on, reduce this. You reduce that and then fire away. Come on, come on, come on. Bang, 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 bang. Yeah, it's just... Oh, yeah, that's hurting. I'm going to press space to board it because otherwise they're going to destroy my ship. So here we go. Boarding orcs. This is never a good thing. So orcs are coming across. There's some big ones. Oh, bloody hell. Hell's bells, they're big. There is a grot. We'll take that out. So there we go. Is it going to come to me? It is. Come on, take it out. Come on. Ah, bloody orcs. There we go. And, uh... Oh, yeah. This is, um... Not going too well, is it? I don't know how... I don't know where my crew is. But I'm going to defend the top. Oh, no. They're coming towards me now. That's not good. Um, right. This is a mistake. This is definitely a mistake. <laughs> and, um... There I go. I drop down. And... Yeah, so, so, so game over. Uh, what I'm going to do is click load game and uh, just, load, just load that one there. Just, uh, the ones that I um, <clears throat> haven't, um, yeah, let's just, just load that. So I've demonstrated that you can die in the game. So that was, that was, that was all on purpose. Uh, so, <laughs> oh dear, oh dear. Let's just dog back at this thing. But you can see that um, all that combat is possible. Let's do something a little bit more sensible. Now let's go to the notice board and uh, stockpiles. What's this one here? Ahoy, Captain. There's a certain wealthy noble who is in the market for gems I'm looking to buy. Get me the goods and I'll give you a good price. No questions asked. I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to decline that. Let's go to the visor of the emperor and see what it is. Blah, 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 blah. Um, yeah, ship of the Imperial Navy was attacked, uh, left adrift by a green skin fleet. There's a number of scrolls aboard. Let's accept that, and we'll see if we can do that quest there. So we'll go back, and then we will exit this thing. So the objective is over there. We're going to spin around over there, and then we'll have a quick look through.
But yeah, you can see that um, if you sail in the wrong direction and you meet something that's quite big, you are best off just running away because otherwise the game will pound you and you will die. I've, I've had that happen a couple of times. The orc ones are really difficult because obviously orcs are very good. Ah, oh, the wind is against me sadly, so I'm going to have to tack. I'm going to have to go up this way and then tack back the other way. I think it's called tacking. Anyway, speed up to max as well, which is only times two. We'll be, having up to a times eight will be quite nice indeed. Anyway, but yeah, you can um, you can easily get wrecked if you're not careful. Also, I've only done... When I've been fighting, I've not really got to a point where I can fully repair my ship with the money I've gained from fighting. So that's a bit of an iffy one. I don't know whether it's just what I'm doing or whether the economy is a bit, you know in development or whatever uh, I'm, I'm, I'm guessing that it's uh, a col column A and column B to be honest with you with it being early access look at that guy he's having a little stretch you can do a couple of things you can actually do a search and it pretty much always says we find nothing which is interesting you can click on captain and again you can wander around and they they will happily like sort of uh, I was going to say drive the ship but it's um, sail the ship I wonder if you can shoot that in rings 10 out of 10, game of the air every year. There you go. Don't quote me on that. Um, <laughs> but yeah, at least it's a bit of a nice bit of a nice touch, that. Will it put a hole in this when I shoot it? Oh, 0 out of 10. Crap, worst game of the year. Anyway, let's go over to... I mean, look, at the, the models are actually quite good. You know what I mean? No? It's certainly not a bad-looking game. It's just rough around the edges in places. Let's go to the ship, and that seems to be a couple of... I don't know what they are. I don't know, but they're two big ships. That's more rocks. That's a rock. Dodge it. Yep, yeah, we're running away again. Okay, okay. Um, <laughs> that's going to hurt. Yep, yeah, that is actually the same size as me, but can I take both of them on? Shall I try it? Shall I try and take both of these guys on? If I can sail around the outside and get the little ship down first, we might be okay. Also, if I can just keep them at range, I might do okay as well. Let's have a bit of a fire there. I missed. And the shot's coming in. Apparently, he can well outrange me, which is never a good thing. Um, let's just see what we can do then. This ship's coming straight towards me. Why is this ship coming straight towards me? It's going to board me. Okay, you can have some of that, mate. There you go. And we're going to get around the outside. No, it's not coming straight towards me. It's also coming straight against the wind as well, which is a bit iffy. My ship's really getting a right good pounding here. There you go. Oh, look at that. I'm really damaging that ship. Let's slow this down a bit to about half speed. And we're only doing 30 knots because we're really against the wind here. And then we will... Oh, I've almost killed it as well. If I can just max speed this thing. Get it round. Come on. We're only doing 9 knots apparently, but it's uh, pretty much going nowhere at all. Our ship is really taking a big beating here, but if I can get this ship down, fame increased, it's gone, right? It has actually been destroyed. So what I need to do then is get right round and start taking this ship out. That's going to hurt. The problem is that I don't know if I can take this other ship out with the damage that I've sustained. So here we go. There's some shots going in. Uh, I've just got some gold because I went over the wreck, I think. And there it is. Oh, yeah. We've really lost, started to lose some stuff here. Come on, reload. The re There's no animation for reload and stuff, which is a bit... You know, I'm assuming that's going to come later. It better do because having the cannons just fire, same as when you've got your blunderbuss, it just fire is a bit iffy. Oh, that's not good. I think we've lost our cannons on the uh, on the aft. So I'm going to head straight towards it and get round. There we go. That wasn't too bad. And we're going to spin right round here. And then get some shots in. Here we go. And bang! Come on. There we go. Nice explosions. And we're going to get around the back. Wind is to our advantage. We're going to slow right down. And we're going to plow it right in the back because it's got no aft guns, obviously. It's always been the, always the weakest part of ships. And I'm really not doing much damage. Is it trying to run away? I think it might be. So I'm going to give chase, I think. We have the weather gauge, Captain. Excellent. The question is, do I want to chase it? I don't think I do, in all honesty. The question is, does he want to fight? You know what? I think we're leaving that. We're going to go and do our objective, which is over there. Is it coming round? I can't tell whether it's sailing off. Uh, Captain Beck, two tons uh, in hold. I don't know whether it's coming round or not. Oh, you git. Yeah, see what it was doing? It was trying to just get out of range because it's got bigger guns. Who's that over there? Is that a friend? The Whirlwind. 
Right. If I can bait it into that. Look at that. That's quite nice, all that snow, isn't it? Bloody freezing on here as well. So I'm just going to keep running away. Hmm. That's over there. Really need, like, a flashy thing. Like, it's it. Help, 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 help. Getting chased. <laughs> Give help. Um, we're actually trying to sail to there, but honestly, I'm going to turn around, even though oh, the wind's against me. The wind's always against you. Speed up to max. Nah, we can't. I can't. The problem is that if I don't, if I do that, he's going to catch me. I need to keep running. I think I have the speed. I just don't have the range. Everybody's probably quite cold here. And we're also sailing off into the unknown where you've got orcs, you've got undead. I think that's undead. I think it might be undead. I don't know what um, races are in the game at the moment. I know that there's... Um, I think there's undead. I think I've encountered undead before, but I... Is that true? Or am I just talking out of my posterior? I, no, I don't think I have. I've definitely encountered orcs. I'm going to go towards this guy because sack him. Uh, orcs and Empire. And I'm pretty sure there's undead in it. And I don't know what else. Like, I don't know if there's any... Um, I don't know if there's any chaos fleets. I know there's not chaos dwarves, which is a shame. Um, I'm guessing that if it's obviously successful, it's something they'll be added, adding later on. What I'm going to try and do is board it. I think I have the legs on the crew, and I have the speed. So if I just charge straight towards it, just keep zipping left and right. It's trying to run away again. So that's the thing. It's always going to try and run away because its guns are very long range, and the advantage for it is obviously shooting me at long range. <clears throat> the question is whether I'm gaining. Sadly, when you look at it like this, it doesn't tell you the speed. If it did, that would give me, you know, some sort of help. Ah, it's engaging another ship, is it? Well, that's um, good for me because that ship's now going to come round and probably give it a right good pounding. I'm going to help chase it down. Yes, good. We're sort of, if you look, we're actually, there's the whirlwind of shooting, there's the blood wind there, and then there's me. We're basically trapping it. <laughs> oh, yes, this is a good chase. Come on. Right, so we're going to come right round. Here we go. And then we are going to give it a right good battering. And there we go. Let's reduce the speed of the game so it's actually sensible. There we go. It's getting away again. Good grief, it's quite fast, isn't it? And that ship's... Oh, yeah, that ship's got a massive ramming prow on it as well. So here we go. See if we can get close. Does the... The question is, does the... Snow go the wind the way the wind's going. I think it does actually. Very good. Right, let's go this way and there we go. There we go. That's gonna get rammed. That ship, isn't it? Oh, just missed it. No, it's, it is, and it's getting dark now. So as you can see, all the lanterns are coming on. I don't know what they're firing for, and the frame rate is going to absolute dog crap. But uh, there's nothing I can do about that. Alpha game is alpha. And you know what? I really do not want to be hit by that. So I'm going to get out of the way because that is a big ramming prow on the front of that. So that ship has decided to engage three ships. Four ships, actually. I think that's a case of biting off more than it can chew. Don't think my cannons can reach it. Oh, I, speak again. I spoke too soon. I think I can hit it. You can see on the top left there, it's really getting a bit of a pounding. I'm going to have to go right against the wind here. Spin right round. Come on. I'm not going to be able to get close to it at all. I might be able to get in the orange, which means I've got a bit of speed. There we go. Actually, we'll tack into the green a bit. Oh, oh, oh. oh that's so good. <laughs> That's the last thing you want to see, isn't it? Uh, I wonder if um, there's other crew on board these ships. It doesn't look like there is, actually. Maybe when you get close, but no. I want to fire, but if I hit my friendly ship, I think they're immediately flagged as hostile. So let's not do that. Let's take a risk firing there. What the hell is that? Oh, hi, guys. 
Um, sorry, I've not got a reverse gear, so I can't help you there. <laughs> and it's hitting us as well. Oh, that shredded one of my sails. Look at that. I'm starting getting some battle damage here. Honestly, these guys are useless. No wonder I'm having to come around and protect the entire fleet, because it's pathetic. Look, you've got one ship there, one ship there, and one ship over there. None of them can take this guy out. It's me that's doing all the hard graft. I think I led that too much, didn't I? Thank you for that. I'm, 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 I, I know I'm sailing into the wind. I also can't see anything because of the snow and the fog. About... Is he coming towards me? I hit it. I hit... I think I hit it quite well there and all. So... What I'm going to do, I'm going to spin right round and come right behind it. I actually want to board the thing, to be honest with you. After all this effort, chasing this thing down, him running away. We're going to get our boarding on, I think. It's trying to run away, and it might even get away. Come on. Come on. Let's give it a broadside first. There we go. Get some. And then we're boarding it. Right. Come here, mate. Oh. Oh, that's some clipping problems. Yeah, yeah, that, that was a bit iffy. And here we go. They're all coming aboard. And, oh my good grief, there's a lot more crew than I thought. There we go. And are they still firing? That's not very good. They're still firing. Um, enemy. Yeah, they, see, what's happening here? I think the entire fleet is still firing on... Oh, enemy. Hi. Um... The entire fleet is still firing on the ships, and obviously I'm attached to it. That's a lot of cr a lot of them coming towards me here. Oh my good grief! This is a mistake. Headshots. Go for the headshots. Luckily, my second has got a repeat handgun. What I want is a swivel gun to go on the outside of this thing. Oh, there's the captain. And apparently he's invincible. I'm shooting him in the head, and it's not working. There we go. Headshots. Pretty sure if you get hit like that, you would die. And he's sort of stuck, I think. But I've, I'm sure I've killed him now. Right. And... Is that it? Nope. There's one over there. <laughs> Quest completed. I'm going to transfer some silver. Thank you very much. And there it goes. So, there's only me and my second. All of my crew, I think, are dead. And um, that's not good. But that was a good fight. That was a tough fight. Right, we need to get back immediately to Norden. Because, um, yeah. Yeah, we're a bit, we're a bit hurt. Uh, which way are we facing? Um, is something firing still? Don't say that ship's firing at me. It better not be. The combat music isn't started, so that's a good thing. Uh, we are now going... Yeah, we are now going the correct direction. There you go. Hi, guy. How's it going? Well done. Well done, yes. Thank you for helping me and also shooting me. Oh, no, there is crew. Look, you see there is crew aboard there. It's just because it's so dark, you can hardly see the thing. Ten tons in hold. Yeah, there's no way I'm going to be able to take that on. One thing, does it flash when we... Oh, yeah. <laughs> when you try to fire, look. Yeah, thanks, mate. So it's me and my second in command are the only people left on board. That's not good. Let's speed up to max speed. We're going to get into port. What's that guy firing at? There you go. Uh, we're going to dock up. And we're going to probably... Not... Why do they keep firing? They just... What are they firing at? I have no idea. Anyway, we're going to dock up and hopefully... Hopefully, be able to repair our ship, but I very much doubt it. So, we'll go to, um, we'll go to the docks. We'll go to repair ship, and it's going to cost, oh no, it's going to cost three grand to fully repair it. I'm going to not do that. The reason being is I need to recruit crew, and I need to buy pretty much all the crew that I can. There we go, I'm now maxed out, and then I need to repair the ship. It's not going to fully repair it, but you can see it does repair different sections of it, but at least I've repaired something. I'm also going to go to the, uh, oh no, I don't need to go to the warehouse. We do need to go to, um to the market and we have lots of silver and we're going to sell 
sell. There we go. And that's given us 1,600 and a bit of change. Go back to the docks, back to the repair ship, and fully repair it. There we go. So we got a brand new ship. Well, we got pretty much a brand new ship because there wasn't much left of it. We've got a f full crew back again. And how much money have we got in total now? Uh, hang on. Let's have a quick look. Got a purchase ship. Uh, 390 gold. So we're actually, after all of this, we, um, we, we've actually got... 10 gold less than when we started the game with. And that is what's what happens quite a bit in my experience. Nothing on the notice board. Undock. Where can we go? So we have to still locate the wrecked ship, which is over there somewhere. I have to sail over there. And generally, that's the game. That's pretty much what you'll be doing in my experience. As I said, I've only played about an hour and a half, maybe two hours now. Overall, I don't mind it it's not bad it's certainly nothing that is like you know amazing i can't say there's anything that's making me go oh my god this is fantastic but i am enjoying sailing around um the combat itself isn't bad um you know there is some tactics to it you know alter basically checking the wind and um you know being able to know like guess well guessing and seeing what the ship's got seeing where your strengths lie and where their weaknesses are as well it would be nice if you can get more information on the ships that you're actually fighting, other than just roughly guessing, because of, because you know because of that sometimes it's a little bit dodgy because you look at the ship and you go what the hell is that ship in distress is it? Uh, we might have a quick look then. Let's have a quick look over here. But yeah, sometimes you look at the ship and you go I really don't know how to beat that one. Um, what's this? Uh, do we attack the pirate captain and win favor with everybody, especially the empire, or do we burn our bridges and plunder both? I think we will attack the pirate, but the wind is against me because it always is. Um, yeah, so getting more information on the ships would be uh, useful. I like the way that, you know, the animations are not too bad at all. Uh, sometimes they're a bit jarring. Ow, that hurt. I've just fixed this thing, so I'm not happy. Uh, <laughs> I really want to start exploring some more of the world. And I think the um, I think the way you, you know, what what is um, interesting to me is that you can you know, upgrade your ship. Uh, and, and exchange your ship in, in the reputation system. That's something that um, I think I'm going to... That's the one that's going to sort of keep me coming back to it. Um, as an early access title, as something still in development, I, it's quite good. It is quite good. Something to keep an eye out. Obviously, your mileage may vary depending on whether you think this is uh, something that's a bit too early, uh, whether it should be more. I think there's enough here to happily say that, yes, it is in early access, and you can see what they're going to do with it. As always, though, with the typical disclaimer of we don't know exactly what's going to happen. So, you know, you always take a risk. It's up to yourself. I'm just showing you what it's like so far. I really want to see if I can take this guy out at long range. He is, as far as I can tell, the, sh the same ship class as me. And I can't really fire any further forward, so I'm going to have to keep going that way. And we'll lead it a bit. There we go. And... Nah, that didn't work out. I'd have to get closer. Either way, I'm going to leave it there. Link's in the description so you can check this out yourself. Bear in mind, as I said, this is uh, still in development version 0.0.22 or something like that. I said at the start of the video. And I'm recording this a couple of days before release, so there might be changes by the time you get your hands on it. Thank you very much for watching. Take care. And generic partings. Ow, I just painted that.